Second winner bracket semi-final in the Yule Cup day two. The winner of this game will face Fly and the loser faces Michael in the lower bracket. We have Sock versus Lawlia, two former roommates. Sock being picked up by the Africa Freaks as team winners is no more. And Lawlight, we saw him in Anaheim. Wasn't too successful for him, though. Unfortunately, eliminated yeah. very early in the tour. Some people were really sure that he was going to win that tournament. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't, I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> so convinced. I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, what what happened to La Lion? What uh, how where did he place again? Uh, fifth to eight, he was eliminated in the quarterfinals ah. by Focus. He didn't win. Weird. I, I thought I heard wow. that somewhere. Wow, real. <laughs> really, really, we we we're doing this now? Okay. We are La Lion uh, on Terra Stand. La Lion in the bottom right with, of course, a Warden level two point three, creeping her up to level three. Engine of War already at the lab. The best creeping Night Elf in the world against Sock, who made it to the round of eight in WGL two times in a row. He is hella scary when he plays Warcraft. Uh, Potion of Greater Mana, Mental of Intelligence, on a Mountain King, plus level three. This is a great start for the human. This is normally where we expect the Telly Staff, and there it is Telly Staff and Dust, one footy. In the south, looking to be, uh, yeah, on the lookout, I guess, for the expansion. An Angel Dude. of War denied here by Lawlight, which is something mm. that's very rare to see. Did you by any chance saw 15 Sway vs. Colorful uh, from yeah, Thursday, I think? 15 Sway played such an insane Mountain King pressure. Colorful was struggling with level uh, 3 early on. And 15 Sway staffed over to exactly this position and held the Warden on level 2 for like 8 minutes. That was the best Mountain King play I've seen this year. But Hold that thought. Illusion into the main. You can't buy mercenaries, but I think you can certainly staff onto her, can't you? Oh, hell yeah! And here we go! Fellow Knives comes in, the first of many. No Arcane in the main, perhaps a little greedy. But the MK is here. Rest of the army can't really enter. Uh, next fan of knives. That's the beauty of a warden level two. Is it blink? Yes, it is. So not forced into a potion, not forced into any other item. And again, the shadow melt. No reveal used yet. He knows she's there. Stumble two, by the way, didn't decide for a third spell yet. Normally this is the most effective though, this uh, economy harass, when you're creeping up the natural with your archers and mercs at the same time. But that's not happening yet. Ancient of War is in position, but also footy for soccer seeing this. Tele staffs are both on cooldown. But the footies and the mercs still in the south. Sock, good play by him. He's not overreacting. He's not throwing everything at this warden. He still has his army in position in the south to be disruptive. Trying to get some mercs here. Warden escapes. Mountain King close to the base and the expo is at 70%. Hunch Saul, tier 2 finishes. So far the Warden solo. That means she gets solo experience. No tech by Sock yet. Getting later and later. Oh, the the Warden for some good. kills here. Maybe no, no fan anymore. You must know the MK is around the corner. And here comes the little dwarf. Oh, oh. nice dodge. That's just... These dodges all the time. This, this never gets time. old. That's a move in Warcraft that will never get old. Yeah. Pretty nice. Daytime about to hit. That means more mercs become available. And it's about time. Lolite needs its expansion here. This game so far, I mean, the Warden Harass in the main was nice. It delayed the tech by a long time, to be fair. It's hard to gauge right now. Who was this better for? I'm not sure. You can usually judge the game according to the progress on the Warden. Three and a half is okay. He needs yeah. more. He has that 
Ancient in position, so level four is no problem. But and Sock, is, he's just waiting for it. Yeah. Oh, again, Warden again, fan. In the main, yeah. yeah. Another thing I want to point out here. Um, yeah, the Expo is late for a light, but he saved a lot of resources. He made it to tier two with one Archer and one Berserker only. He didn't lose anything in the meantime, any units. No, he just made these two units. That plus the Warden was enough to make him survive into the tier two stage. He lost one Ancient of War now. We're just going to cripple his creeping. But it's not like he went for four archers or anything, which all got bolt sniped. No. He did a very good job keeping most of his forces alive. It's another footman. Warden could jump into this expo with level yeah. four. And the level four, always a nice level up for the Warden. I really like the early Mud Golem. Smart choice by Sok. Yeah, it's also great against Zeppelins, which is a thing for Sok now. Stealing it away from Volayet. This this slow man. It's really good early. Yeah. Oh, when a Zeppelin drop about to land. But of course the Dryads are magic immune. The MK won't be able to kill them too easily, but the Berserker is looking like a nice target. Oh yeah. Oh, fan could get a triple kill maybe? It was mana. Zeppelin 2. Wick! Shredder saved as well. But finally, this expo is up. Smelling a tinker later. Yeah. Absolutely. think so too. Tier 2 about to finish here for Sock. His lumber is a little too low to immediately spike onto level 3. But with the Shredder, lumber will soon be an issue of the past. T3 take by Lawlight as well with more moon wells. Clarity, mana potion, and more staffing, but also more creeping. The game slows down a bit now, and this gives Sock some time. He forgot the blacksmith or queued it late and goes immediately to tier 3. No priests, no rifle casters. And I'll lie, this is so cool. Even with both Ancients of War dead now, he can still find creeping. Yeah. And now he's going for a Zeppelin. Uh, I thought aggressively. The Terra yep. stands special. Oh, the peasant is sent out. Really smart scout here by Sock, scouting over at the lab. Of course, this is a classic. Creep the lab, get the Zeppelin, go to harass. In fact, we have two Zeppelins coming in for harass right now. Sock flying towards Loliath's natural, and Loliath flying towards the main base of the human. Game of chicken! But Lolliet should be able to kill a lot of peasants and then TP home. How much damage will the Dryads take? It's only an Arcane, but still. Peasant killed, peasant killed, Warden close to 5. He really wants level 5, but can't get it. In the meantime, we have Clap against the Repairing Wisp. Takes out one after the next. This is only an Entangled gold mine, though. Mining is completely disrupted. Blood Mage second. Warden wants level 5. So and bad. It's like the early game now. It's hard to judge. Who is this better for? Yeah. Who does this hurt more? And you have to be really good and really well experienced to make the proper call here. Is it right to TP home or is it right to keep on being aggressive? Well, now it's right to TP home for Lawlight. It wants to keep his tree alive. All the wisps gone. Fan of knives doesn't hit too much. No piercing damage on Sock. Good Zeppelin micro gets level five in the end. Oh, they're playing really good. They're both playing so well. This is such a treat to see. Especially Low Light, I think. Also, note how his TP was very deliberate. TP way in the back, close to the river, because he wanted to be ready to snipe the Zeppelin if Sok wanted to use it. So Sok couldn't use the Zeppelin to load everything up. Ending up in more kills for the Warden and her now on level 5. And getting closer to 6. Unloading once again. Dryads are pretty hurt, but Dryads are magic immune. Still get right clicked. First one down. Second one saved. Level 5 versus level 4. Blood Mage draining a lot. So only one with right clicks. Blinking away from it now. The Zeppelin is about to crash. Ooh, so close. Blood Mage, finishes it. Blood Mage finishes it. No TP on Lawlight anymore. But the Blood Mage not looking too good either. Stormbolt saves him. Oh, Townport. Is level 1 hero. Yeah. I guess especially considering the Warden level 5 already wanted to minimize the experience gain on her as much as possible. Close to 6 now. Yeah. 
How many more? You need four more peasants. That's all. Yeah. And he realized this as well. The opening into the base. <laughs> oh, the blink siphon prevents the next fan of knives. But the drive damage with the warden here should be enough. This should be level six. This must be level six. Yeah, two more. One more. But how do... Okay, he has a TP now. That's it. Avatar of Vengeance unlocked. Even killing a tower on the way out. <sighs> this is rough for Sock. This is really rough. Zeppelin crashes as well. TP out. Not much damage done. There is, like, all the dryads at red, at orange, at light green. But not many died. And so the MK is not on three. Triple hero now. Sharing experience by three. This is not looking good for Sock. What can he do now? He has one workshop. He builds one tank. Dude, but that's so not what's going to win him the game. I'm so impressed with Lolai. This is such a good game. I love how patient he was to delay his expansion. Him knowing that he saved so many resources early that he could afford a later expo. And even with two Ancients of War dying, he still gets level 5 Warden in time. He still goes for the perfect base drop. And I think the one mistake by Sock this game was not securing both his bases with enough, enough towers. Yeah, especially the main was wide open. He's threatening the drop again with a tank. There's no flame strike. There's only one knight. I don't think he can accomplish too much here. Yeah, double engine of war already coming up for defense. And, and if the haunted time. falls, it's not the end of the world. It's once again the main base for Sock in trouble. And now there's an avatar Ooh, vengeance in here. No Even if Sock TP is home, he can't save this main. No. Shredder falls, more, more spirits. Warden blinks in for a multi kill. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is horrible. Yeah, the entangled gold mine is once again wiped out, but who cares? Yeah. Well, I can even afford to give up the tree if he wants. He's killing an expo for a main. Yeah. Tier 3 gone. That means no tanks, no knights. No staff of sanctuary, no op. Okay, he has one, but that's it. Yeah, that's the castle gone. Damn. Not the crazy blink, glass hit steals, flashy kind of lucky early game moments. No, just very precise, smart play by Lawlight, always knowing what he was supposed to do. I'm so impressed with him right now. Thank you, Bara Bulkas, for the seven month resub. Hey there. Hey there. So, can we wipe out the second base as well? Didn't he have like 10 spirits? Not a single bear, not a single mountain giant. Ah, damn, there's the bear. Uh, but yeah, that's it. He didn't use it in a fight. That's GG. Wow. Warden, Dryads, win. So well played. Impressive. Really, really impressive. He's really good. Warden's level six and there's spirits everywhere. Yeah, then it looks, you know, crazy and kind of busted. But getting there, the way he did it. Remo, you know that's a nonsense argument. Y you can only judge from the last two minutes. You know, Warden <laughs> overpowered. Try it, magic immune, such bullshit. Want to storm bolt them. That's absolutely true. Uh, he bought the time. He wasn't... Like, he didn't feel forced into a Tinker early game. So there was a lot of experience early. Sock had a decent mid-game, though. He scouted Loliath's creeping all the time. And shut it down. But maybe that was a little bit too late. The level 3 for the Warden was a little too easy, in my opinion. Judging from the game of 15 Sway versus Colorful, where it was the exact opposite. With the early harass. And there was a big mana potion on the Mountain King. I think you can use that better. Yeah, maybe you should have committed more. I mean, again, it's so crazy with how little Lolaid made it to the mid-game. One archer, one berserker, along with the Warden. That was it! If there's suddenly five footies in a main, in your main as the Knight of, with Mercs, that's super, super scary. Maybe Sock should have been more aggressive. But hard to judge. I'm I'm so I'm so impressed with Lolite. That was just outstanding play. Okay. Then we go on to map two. Do we have the invites yet? Don't think so. Are you not in? No. Did they start? Ah, there we go. Thanks, Remo. Like a real bro taking care. Dude, this lobby, it's again like 20 people. We have some slots left. 
Don't encourage people. That's enough. We, we don't need any desyncs or join box. Have you had desyncs on Netties yet? Mm, no. You know what occurred to me last night? <laughs> desyncs <laughs> only curious, seem though. to happen to cash. Uh, Thorza and Moon. Yes, I mean, outside of DreamHack, in online tournaments. It's always been cash. Wasn't it side yesterday dropping? I'm pretty sure. It was cash versus side. True. I don't know who dropped, though. I think... Yeah. Is it the first one to leave? Oh, brown, bad, color. Um, yeah, I don't know how that works. I guess no one knows how that works. Thank you, Hitman and Taker, for the raids. Much love. The orcs are raiding the Back to Warcraft channel. So, so. we try to get a better color. And, uh, all right. <clears throat> we have the better color. Sock wanted to play with brown, but Neo's like, nope, it's not gonna happen. Bad colors. And the admins agreed. Yes, Sock, bad color. And then he changes. <laughs> Great play by play commentary of the chat lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> so we load into map two. We just saw the warden play to perfection. Terrana stand, of course, a map to do that on. But now LR, it's going to be a lot harder to do it just as he did on map uh, number one. Same can be said for the MK, I suppose. Are we going to see Warden here, Neil? What do you think? A last refuge. Usually, it no. Doable. It is doable. It's not easy. The, is is Laliot on like a stream challenge again, like he was against Michael? I don't think so. I think it's Demon Hunter. I wanted to ask you something, Remo. Uh huh. Are you on Instagram now? Yeah. Oh. I finally, I finally joined yesterday or two days ago. Yeah. Or something. I thought for a second. Is is there an imposter now? Because there's no profile pic or anything. Is someone faking Remo because he refused to use Instagram? So how yeah. can people follow you? I don't even know, dude. <laughs> it's Remo Demo Two Three on ah, Insta. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't set up an account. I haven't followed any people yet. Me. I have done nothing. I still don't know exactly how the page works, <laughs> but I do have an account now. This is going to be great. Um, I can't wait until you figure out how stories work, and then you go party, and then <laughs> Remo drunk, Insta stories. Oh yeah, with with Ardid, it's going to be a dream. Oh, dude. That could be pretty funny, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the other day, he told me that uh, he really doesn't do well with rough toilet paper. It hurts him a lot. And, he's, and he told me that might be because of the one time <laughs> I, I destroyed this giant light bulb across his ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that made me laugh. That brought me back to the good old times. <laughs> Thank you, Emma T, for the prime sub. Yeah, dude. That's still... Such an awesome move. <laughs> I'm so jealous. It's one of the funniest things I ever did. And uh, I love to keep on bringing it up. Arden thinks otherwise. <laughs> 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 I can still remember the dust oh that uh, sprang from that yeah, destruction. It's a team honor, by the way. Yeah. I am wrong. I was wrong. I was expecting the warden here. Yeah, my prediction was right. <clears throat> Not bragging or anything, but I know my bro. So Sock on the other side goes for an Archmage, so completely different first heroes than in game number one. Yep. Kind of the norm on this map, I suppose. Yeah. Question is, is Sock gonna fast expand or not? It's both viable. 
If this was Infio TH playing, I would definitely expect the one base play with a tier two yeah. push follow up. It's four farms, lots of peasants. That's definitely an expansion. Alrighty. You know what I would like to see, Neo? Oh. A panda second. Really? Call a line, yeah. Just straight up tier two panda pressure. No, panda counter expo. Panda counter expo, two MGs, maybe three, couple of fairies, and then die to frag shards. <laughs> no, and then uh, <laughs> big breath or something. Okay. Yeah, doable. On this map, lots of time, lots of camps, big experience. Staff or boots attack. or both? It seems like he's a little late for the harass, isn't he? Three, two, one. Boots of speed. How many times has it happened to you since the change that you double click S and then you buy two pairs of boots? Zero. Happened to me twice. Aye, aye, aye. Not gonna Good lie. Man. His demon is super strong, by the way. Triple circle and boots. Oh, wow, yeah. He is scary, man. I've seen a lot of emulation recently, but really? not here. Thank God. Yeah, Colorful is still a big fan. Um, yeah. It's time to drop the fandom. I think so too. That what made his games against 15 Sway so hard. Oh, the AM tried to get the boots, but realized he didn't have the gold. Feels weird, man. <laughs> hey, Thumb, nice to see you, man. Unfortunately, the Lin games are a little postponed for either tomorrow or the day after. Thank you. As Chameleon for the 10 month resub. Remo on Insta. Creek as. So the big question is, of course, when are you going to be on TikTok? <laughs> I'm pretty sure never. He said that about Instagram. So just give Remo three years, then we're going to see him on TikTok. Wait, do you have TikTok? No. Well, I installed it, but I don't get it. It's like Snapchat. I never got Snapchat. Yeah, me neither. We're a little too old for that, I that, think. There's no buttons. You all like, like you swipe all the time, left, right, top. I don't. I don't. Nope. Be installed. Good creep drag here. This is a really nice play by Sock, despite all the pressure that the AM was under. This is what this super strong demon was trying to accomplish. Put so much pressure on the AM that Sock doesn't have the courage to go out aggressively. But Sock did not fall for that and is finding a really, really, really good creep drag right here. Got the level 3, kills off at least two archers. Might be able to get the Ancient of War as well. And Lala is suddenly blindsided here by this Jack before having a second hero out yet. Yeah, kind of low Demon Hunter as well. Archmage comes back as Water Elemental 2, but now Lala it can finish this. Really nice of Sock to bring the dust, by the way. Here's level 3, so no more mana. But he still gets the Shadow Priest. Was denied, actually, by the line here. That was pretty nice. But yeah, Shadow Priest still dead. But uh, so are most of the footies. And the tier 2 tech only now starts for Sock. That feels pretty late. Uh, it's 620. Oh, Scourge Bone Times for the Demon. Oh my god, he is the trade king and emperor at the same time. You cannot contest this guy for a long time. Trade King. Isn't there another guy on planet Earth that thinks he's the Trade King? Best deals and stuff. He's gonna make great deals for his country. Great yeah. deals for his Night Elf country. Double Engine of Lore. So again, a little heavier into Dryads and then the later bear tr transition. And it's a Naga second, man. Lolai, it's not listening to you today. Sock into the main, but where his aggressive play was rewarded before at the Merc camp, I don't see this one doing too much. Craft is just designed to buy time. Question is, how many footies is this gonna cost? At least one. Be quite a few. And two. In the meantime, yeah, he gets the wisps from the mercenary camp, but what does it really do? Uh, I detonated. Man, this is indeed a late tier two now. It's gonna be 
8.15 or something. Question is, is Low Light still going to counter expand or, or no? <laughs> uh, does he have to? He's tacking now. I think he's going barrel in. Such a stressful game for the AM. Just running away all the time. The man with the blindfold has been uh, haunting his every move. We do have dispel ready as well. And the double slow and the demon hunter damage. It's kind of easy. No, don't give away the boots. Okay, buy a second pair of boots. Let's go. <laughs> I guess demon would love an invul pot as well. Big mana. Eh. It smells like a cell. He's keeping it though. 1000 gold for Sock. Now tier 2. Arcane Sanctum. Double Arcane Sanctum. Where are the rifles, by the way? Ooh, big Moonwell kill. But apart from that, not too much to do for this Archmage in the base. And that's the second merchant for Laliat with a level 4 Demon Hunter. He's the ultimate tank already. This is a big camp to take away. Here is the big invul. That's the good item he was looking for. Dryad split, keeping taps on the Archmage. Sees the movement. Safe in the base. Now rifle casters. So how... Oh, lumber starved. A player's forces are under attack. Big imbalanced resources for Sock. Yeah, certainly can't go tier 3 here. And Lolite, if he creeps the lab away from his opponent as well, this is two big camps taken off of the side of the human. Yeah. Should be level 3 for the Naga as well. And this demon is getting closer and closer to level 5. The Scourge Bone Chimes for the life city are so nice. <laughs> Since the old Talon days, you're such a big fan of... Dude! And, and I, I don't question this, I don't argue with you, it's real good. Damage reduction plus healing, so good. Efficiency. Alright, Sock wants to contest, but he's too late for the big boy. This demon is Omega Beef now, with Hellstone, big invul. Even has the mana potion, which uh, we should go up over. Oh, Naga, in focus, ouch, that hurts, that hurts. Look at the life steal. dead. Oh. Oh. At least forces the potion, but good trade. In the long run, though, Sock's gonna have two bases. He's close to 70 already. Level 2 Fork Lightning. That's a plus. Lack of Reju. There's no dispel. He could do so much with it. Oh, he really wants this oh. Naga. It's gonna get her. But it's gonna cost him three dryads. Yeah, I'm not that's sure a little that too much. It. That's way too much. Where are the bears? He's at tier three. Was he too sure of himself? Master training queued only now. It's really late. Players' forces are under attack. Yeah. The demon is pretty strong, but if he's getting mass slowed, perhaps not the. One man army. All I was hoping for. He needs the orb of venom really badly as well. Third TP for Sock, by the way. So, a lot of his gold here going into the scrolls. He's gonna get level 4 AM here, though, at the red camp. That's very nice. Hoping for the big aura. Nope, never mind. Oh, you heard cunning. Demon Hunter creeping solo. And more and more creeping in general. Finally bears. Finally Riju. Finally roar. Thank you, Anthropy, for the prime sub. Sock is getting a, his Naga back. Breakers added. And more rifles. Oh, here we have a big creep check, though. One priest sniped instantly, but the army for Sock is really big, and the Dryads, they just get annihilated. No staff over here either. No staff. No orb. Oh, the bear! Are you serious? 4 HP gets away. Sooner or later, Lawlight has to fall back. But he's almost level 5 demon now. Almost. 
Okay, it's 72 supply. That's way too much. Has to fall back. Maybe even desperately expand. Fight in his base might be a second good choice. Or transition to mountain giants, but he needs another moon well for that. Thank you. Oh, Deacon. Yeah, and here comes the downside of the demon level 5. Or demon in general. Even if he gets to 5, he's good. But he's not game winning good like a warden. Not alone, no. And this is always the nightmare position for Nylov to be forced to fight into this bottleneck here. Where Sok is smartly positioning himself. Finally, all the fight him on the demon. Oh, Archmage trying to force the third TP, and that works. And what cause? One Dryad taken out. Bears all survive. Fog Lightning kills another Sork and a Breaker. Oh, and the Dryad getting more. Good control. Slow chase, slow chase. Suck. See, so getting greedy. Second expansion. Speaking of slow, all the bears affected. Really annoying for Naya to deal with. You don't have the dried numbers to get this to spell in, and otherwise, what you can do is go for a wisp detonate, but then you burn your orb own bear's mana. Sometimes the stories aren't too bad. <laughs> Thank you, Valhalla. Nice Yule Cup action, still waiting for the Lin Games. Hashtag hype. Yeah, that will unfortunately not happen today, but very soon. More damage, more tankiness for the Demon Hunter. Naga level 4, but in this water mental, is he scouting the high ground? Oh, it would have been so sweet. Scouting the high ground is also a Wisp on the right hand side, where another base for Sock is coming up. Demon trying to make his way over there, which leaves the Naga, Naga to her own devices. Uh-oh, trying to save the bear with the staff. One second on cooldown. Oh, nice. Can he block? Doesn't even have to block. TP for one bear and the Naga. Both get saved. And in the meantime, Demon Hunter kills the Passants. Big play. This yeah. is a really big play. Oh, he could stay around to cancel the town hall, but he's too afraid of the push. He has no stab. Yeah, he has, he has to run. I was making an AP in the back with a wisp. Oh, That's cool. man. He's so smart. At the end of the day, though, he's still fighting against 70 plus supply with only around 50. Yeah, RMG's coming. No, it's just Dryads. I feel like he needs them. Naga needs to get to five. Players' forces are under attack. But even so, like, it's good, Naga level 5, but Thank you, Cliff. good enough. Thank you, Cliff Mo. Now we have a staff, and I like that. To be able to harass and then staff home if necessary. And in the meantime, creep up the Naga to level 3. Fork Lightning. Book of the Dead is rendered useless by priests. Oh, just looking for the base. Don't know if I like that too much. Still 3,000 gold remaining. Let's take a look at the gold. 5k advantage for Sog. If the light wins this game, he's a god. He already is. Come on. This is solo experience also for the demon. Every peasant he kills here gets him closer to 6. Kind of surprised the militia are able to put up such a good fight. A lot of feedback damage as well. Yeah. Lots of mining denied, but it's not like gold is the issue for Sock. If only you had immolation in there, Neo. <laughs> <laughs> not really. I wonder if double orb would be better against the breakers. Against, uh, hmm. Oh, we have the first mountain giant. I love that. With resistance skin. Does he have hardened skin? He does, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Otherwise, they're quite useless. <clears throat> Rifle upgrades only 1 0, by the way. It's pretty low. Breakers also only 1 0. 
Oh, the mountain giant is not in front. Neither are the bears. The light has to reposition. It costs some time. He went to flanking for the right hand side. No mana really for an ultimate if he smashes this fight. How good is the taunt? Not the really. Damage output just seems to be lacking here, doesn't it? Yeah. Nothing's dying for Sock. Second heal scroll comes in. He's out of heal scrolls now, but this fight has been going really well for him. Lose the breaker and one rifle here, but the demon dropping very low. This nice invis saves as well. Again, no redo on this demon hunter. That's a little lacking. Okay, breakers are falling now, but so are the bears. And the mountain giants are really good to tank, but they are too late. They're supposed to tank for the bears, so the bears are alive and do damage. Naga still has a lot of mana. What can the Fork Lightning level 3 do? It's one of the, these rare games, maybe, where the Naga is a factor in the late game fights. Yeah, but it's definitely going to come down to the level 6 demon. Yeah. Without that, this game is not winnable anymore. Six thousand five hundred gold now. How much did they lose to upkeep? Three K, okay. Tomo free training. Blizzard time. I like that choice a lot. Oh, Denies the demon hunter a lot of experience. And triple scroll. Protection and double heal. Okay, fog lightning. Closer to six. Maybe the tornado, Remo. <laughs> no? Yeah? Why, why are you laughing? I haven't seen it reforged yet, by the way. Oh, me I neither. don't know if we have the derp whirlwinds or <laughs> the good ones. Well, I, I don't know what you're talking about. The cyclone looks beautiful now. Uh, it does. If we get the right one. Circle on the ground. There we go. Lolite is holding on really well, with much less supply, so far. But again, this is the nightmare position to fight into. Oh Demon Hunter boy. can't even reach! The Blizzard is quite good, but not too many targets if there are no bears. Scroll of protection on what's important. Casters and Rifleman. Ouchie! Again, no redrew available. Demon Hunter still low, has to be staffed out soon, but staffs on cooldown. Oh! Two more kills, ready for pickup. Invis can't save them. The light smartly brought the dust. Demon? Nope. Oh, why? Nice. Legit one second on the staff. One second. And he could have staffed the demon hunter. The carry is gone. He can't do this. Maybe, okay, let, let's see Tornado. But. Doesn't even How go much is the tavern revive? Level 6 hero. It's like 730 or something. He's got the money. This oh, but so in the meantime, the blizzard hurts against the moon wells. He's soon to be supply stuck. But demon is back. One more kill for level six. He gets the kill, but... Oh, wow. Okay, no mana. Moon juice, almost empty. Oh, gets the clarity last second. Main is expired, though. No more income for Loliath. And double income for Sog. Not too much longer in the north, I guess. Yeah, only 300. Now we're gonna be at one base, zero base. Is it time for the ults? So far, it's just distracting. Trying to backstep with the army. Yeah, he's trying to pincer. Now he has a TP. Demon from the front. Can he cycle on the Archmage to prevent the TP? Superman, here we go. Was, Sock should just TP out. That was way does. too obvious. The Naga. Nah. Like, he invested all that time to move around the map to Pinsir, as you say, and then pops the old and does nothing against the town portal. That's. Yeah. That's if not up to Law Light standards. If he doesn't lose the demon, if he saves him, if he then has the old, I wonder how different this game might look. Okay, he's still using that old little bit of time that he has left to kill the towers, but... It's kind of weird how we used to think that this old was so insanely strong. 
Oh, oh the Naga almost dies. But guess what? Metamorph is over. And uh, so seems to be this game. What got nerfed on the old again? The duration or the cooldown? Or both? Oh, he actually gets her. Oh, wow. Well. But 1,500 gold for Sock. He does not care. No. Potion of greater mana. Tree of Eternity is moving over. This main is empty. Or this gold mine is empty. This gold mine is empty. Sock only with the bottom right. He could move to the upper left as well. Again, double heal throw. So nice. Knows that one of the big strengths of Law Light at the moment is Fork Lightning. And the splash of the ultimate if he has to fight it. And then having heal scrolls. So good. But, okay, no siege sticks. Only the demon again. Trying to disrupt mining. Base is gonna be wiped out. Imagine if Lord Light somehow wins this game. <laughs> I don't know how he's gonna do it though. Well, it has well. to come down to the Superman. The cooldown That's... is not ready yet though, I think. That's about tornado. It's yeah. about tornado. <laughs> cooldown, I think, is ready. It's very small on my overlay that I have in OBS, but we'll see that in a bit. There's again a TP on Sock who really wants this tree gone. But there's human all over the place. So oh, Archmage. At 50%. Can be cast invisible. Here we go. Where's the staff? Does he have one? Is he in range? Uh, Demon oh, Hunter. Dear. You can't drop again. You can't drop again. Staffs to the... Yeah, that's the thing. You staff to the Tree of Eternity. And then you lose him. Overcommitting with the first hero. And with that... Game. <clears throat> After being... Having such a one-sided game yesterday or group yesterday with 202020 we go into the second game three in just game number two that's a lot more fun if you ask me we want to have as many games as possible well i with some nice plays stayed in this game really well but he was so far behind for such a long time it was almost impossible to win yeah, all of a sudden this game turned around, right? The early game was really good for Lolight. And yeah, then I think that Creepjack at the Merc Camp, that was so crucial. If that doesn't happen, if Lolight doesn't fall so far behind, he's gonna have many more options. Whether he wants to go passively counter expand or go aggressive. I really like the confidence in Sox play there. Despite being under so much pressure for such a long time, he always knew what to do. He remained calm. And in the end. He relies on the 75 plus supply human army yeah. against which the demon has always really, really big issues. Okay, third map is Echo Isles and that's again a warden map if he wants to. Maybe even a mountain king map. Looking forward to this. This is kind of new in the map ban meta. Normally, it's LR and Terranus in the pool very often and Concealed. But now we see Concealed vetoed. And I think that should be a Lolaid veto because Concealed is by far the worst Warden map. You can play Big Warden true. everywhere but Concealed against Human. Big true. So yeah, Echo it is. Could be a fast expansion again. There's Mercs here. Human constantly have that issue with the little lumber. So you can't exploit that with a warden, maybe. A lot's going to come down once again to the early game, to the creeping, to how well Lolaid can accelerate his first hero progress. On Terranus, that was really good. Yeah. That was a great game, absolutely. Okay, we're I, waiting. I see people in chat talking about ultimate cooldowns. Yeah. I saw. It's kind of funny that Transmute is on 45 seconds. <laughs> Transmute is fucking broken, but hey, let's buff it! Thanks, Matt it Morris. Was... 
It was nerfed again. It was nerfed again, but it's still stronger than the original. What it's was ridic- the original? Huh? What was the original? Wasn't it 70... 80? I have to look it up. Um, but it's still stronger than the original. How can someone have the idea that transmute is too weak? I well, really I really don't understand this. They wanted to see more Alchemist play. Alchemist was rare to see once upon a time. Yeah. They well, were successful. <laughs> That's the way of putting it. How's your communication with the with the company going, Remo? Any new new insights? Um not really. Oh, too bad. Yeah, what I had a bit about transmute about any spell if it's so strong, is if there's no counterplay. And there's no counterplay to transmute. You, you, you can't. He just runs in, throws a goblet of gold at you, and boom, there. The unit is dead. That that ult is so broken. By well, far the best ult. Well. It's better than Warden Ultimate, is what you're saying? Depends on the situation. But in general, yeah. I don't agree. Especially in two base versus two base. Warden ult is just insane. You can focus fire the avatar. Easy. No problem. <laughs> Easy? Easy. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you're stuck on footman or something. Well, you shouldn't be stuck on footman, I guess. But yeah, <laughs> avatar is uh, crazy. Stuck spawn. on footman against the level 6 one. Also, the thing is... Well, it did happen. Uh, you have to consider, like, is it a viable first hero? And alchemist? Not really. Well, you should ask Sonic about that. I he would he's disagree. Only say, "Sick up, Leon." <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye, YouTube at money. So we have a demon, so hunter, demon hunter again, dude. yeah, and an archmage again. I would have yeah. expected Warden MK. Yeah, the light is too much uh, afraid of the aggressive potential for human from human here early. This is why I think we saw Echo Isles vetoed so much in the past, because yeah, it's a good warden map, but only if you're left alone. If you're not left alone, it can be really scary. I still thought we would have attempted though, but uh, no, he does not. Sign of respect towards Sock, I think. Thank you, and Q for the eight month resub in the less than three. So expansion again. <laughs> Green into expo, back. not even green green, no merc camp. He can still do it afterwards. Good scouting by Sock. He also has the farm here to see whenever Lawlight is going for the merc camp. Well prepared, but there's nothing happening but a tier 2 tech. First detonate, okay. A bit more experience. Early level 3 demon is what you want, but it's not that easy to get. Lolliot is sending over the Ancient of War with only two archers. A player's and he's at the shop way too early. For the boots. Thank you, Kalito, for the 2 1 3 sub. Kalito! Yesterday, Neo. If you would believe it, I was actually on Facebook like an old person. Wow. And you, and you know who I saw? No. Uh, Danger. <laughs> I was like, man, I miss that guy. <laughs> He's such a good guy. I talked with uh, B- with Bidu about him and showed him the video where he was explaining the creep route that he's going to use in the show match against you. <laughs> which is still a Warcraft 3 comedy gem. Oh, so yeah, I miss they, Danger as well. Yeah, he's such a wonderful guy. I hope he's happy in Peru. As well, happy he's as married, he can be so... in Peru, I guess. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm just kidding. I have no idea <laughs> what Peru is like. Engine of War moves to the middle while the Demon Hunter is harassing without immolation again. Yeah. Crucial move here to pull out the creeps to go for more mercs. So that is what able, enables this Ancient of War play. If you uproot the Ancient of War as quickly and don't go for mercs, you suck on two archers, and that does not feel good. But as it is here now, we have the Berserker, we have the Shadow Priest, and the Demon now falling back as the Ancient of War is in position. And this time, we don't have this big punishing creep jack like we saw on LR, where 
I think that creep dragon almost won the game for Mr. Sock. And the demon will be getting level 3 or at least very close to it. And the big heal pot, also nice. We have gloves in the shop as well, but it doesn't go for those. Dude, the map is pinging everywhere. Creeps are attacking the farm. The building is attacking the farm. The footman is attacking the wisps. There's creeping going out, on. It's, what? Are you getting stressed out? A ah. little bit. Oh, dude, look at all these footies. Oh, juicy, juicy. Demon Hunter would love to look for some kills here. Moving over. And there's Panda a potion, he can stay. Why is nobody playing Panda anymore? Takes too long, there's not too many creep camps. My alcoholic solidarity, <laughs> my heart yearns. Are you not into Naga ladies, Rimo? Ah, uh, you know, I would <laughs> be, but they have human ears, so that turns me off. <laughs> That got fixed, man. <laughs> Your fetish is restored. I'm glad they fixed that. Man, that was such a big problem. Demon willing to commit the big wall at the big heal here. To kill off one footy. Hmm. Not so sure about that one, Lolliot. A player's forces are under attack. Lords are coming. Question is, will we see tier 3 as well? I like the one footy in the main by Sock. So annoying. For the entire game. That's the scout footy. It's still there. Loliot just doesn't give a crap. One more footmen are dying. Ooh, one more here. Staff. Ooh, nice detonates though. There was a lot. There was 150 gold. Can you still save this ancient? It's getting... I don't think you can. Uh, I... I'm not nope. sure. It's too much damage. There's no repair. Okay. At least That's one more. yikes. Lore. At least one lore gets saved. But yeah, that hurts. Thank you, Napster. 51 month of subbing. Thank you. Right, I was about to ask, like, is this one base play... Is that the right idea? And then he drops the expansion. You mean he drops the base? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you've been making awful puns the last three days. Come on now. Hey! Why are you so mean? <laughs> you just did the nasty laugh. We just had like we have to cast for like nine hours still. Don't don't ruin our vibe. Oh, do you think we have a pizza break in between? If the games continue to be two one to one to one to one to one, yeah, no. Nope. Probably not, right? All right, so we're going to see Michael in the lower bracket. Hmm. <laughs> I think he's going to get annihilated by Lolite, but I don't know about Sock. Sock plays tanks, man. A Easy. Thank you. Does Sock play tanks? Yeah. I love me some tank games. Hell yeah. And Michael likes playing two base games. Oh, yeah. Get ready for 30 minutes. Push again. This time out of the tree, uh, the Ancient of Lore, not the Tree of Life. Naga is defending, but another water elemental. Oh, quickly dispelled. Oh, that's a free experience fiesta over here. Yeah, but. Yeah, Archimedes has to run away. There's that's no boots. Oh, runs into the creeps for more poison. That's a big miscalculation. Sock basically can't creep now. Can he? Nope. And the heal scroll, very important. We'll go to Lolliot as well. Should go to Lolliot anyways. It's 400 gold. And that's level 4. Quickly rising up to level 4 constantly. And the faster tier 3 tag. Expo up. Sock, what do you do now? Arrived at tier 2. Goes workshop, rifle caster mortars. Switching it up. Interesting that he just refuses to play tier 3. Yeah. Archmage forced into the town port. It's getting like quite it. expensive for Stalk. I like the aggressive play here by the light. He knows. How big of a momentum uh, 
swing this was just for him a minute ago with all those footies lost. And if he can steal the Merc Camp away, ooh, that would be nice. Team Hunter can tank this. Can he, juicy, can he kill it in time, though? Oh, I did. Uh, pop up the experience graph. It must be insane at the moment. I obey. Yep. It's a 700 XP lead for Lawliot, and it's getting better. Cristobal. Not so good for the demon. I actually like that item. But I guess in this game, not too valuable, maybe. A player's forces are under attack. What is the best item there? Ring plus four may have actually been the best one. How crazy. Against Demon Hunter focus. Mm -hmm. Oh, he sells the ring on the demon. Why? <laughs> So, Bear's coming. Master training a little faster this time. What is the best super late game army? Like, if Lolite gets to 80 supply, what does he want to have in his army? I feel like that's a big problem for Night Elf. If you make too many bears, they all die yeah. to rifles. You need at least two Mountain Giants, rather three. Yeah. Then they start to become good. Sock at 70 supply again. That's the timing. Isn't it crazy how you struggle all game and then you have two rounds of production and you you seem to be super OP? <laughs> yeah, just human things. But levels are pretty low here. If Lolite holds on, this game is not looking bad for him at all. But right now he has 50 supply only. <sighs> and low on gold. He has to hold this. He has a moon well. And maybe Wisp detonates, but that's about it. Okay, Sock can forget about the towers with only two peasants, but there was one fork lightning. Ma uh, Naga down to 50% for only workers. And there we go. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. <laughs> I don't know either. Dude. No chance. It's just so much stuff. So much stuff by Sock. Yeah, summons. He doesn't even have much dispel anymore. Three bears only. Oh, scratch that. It's two. Scroll of protection. And this is the big... Advantage over Last Refuge. He has these mortar teams now. He could shoot the Dryads, but why not keep constant damage on the tree? Forces repair, forces a response, forces Lolaid to die for this. And that's less damage on the main army. Demon Hunter about to die. Staffed out and the bears are suffering. More bears coming from the main though. Can Lolaid hold? Two towers up already. That doesn't make things easier. The bears all starting to drop low. Fog Lightning's being exchanged, but Bear's falling. Two more hitting the deck. And Lolai down to 44. AM finally gets his level 4 online. 74 supply. So many 4s in this game. And this is now looking truly disastrous. It's GG. Wow. After a great performance on map 1, Sock recovers. And against the Demon Hunter, he's just very solid. Yeah. Straight up play, expo, not harassed too much, not threatened at all, not the biggest losses in the early mid game. And then if you give the human too much time, 70 supply, get to the shop, get the scrolls, let's go, end the game. Yeah, the top elves have become really scary with their warden. But the demon hunter late game, same as the keeper, just feels trash. He feels Was... so bad in this matchup. Does it have to do with the naga? Wouldn't it look better with a high le higher level panda? <laughs> or even an alchemist? It could, with a panda especially. I'm not sure about the alchemist, but with a panda it's always... If he just outheals you with heal scrolls, then the panda doesn't do anything either. If you out... Like, if, if you burn through all his heal scrolls and then you have more breaths left, then he's really good. But that's not necessarily reliable either. Yeah. That's still the big question for Night Elves. If you don't, if you can't play Warden, how do you beat top humans? It's still yeah. a tough question. Yeah. The answer was play Warden everywhere, but not anymore. So, two games done. This means we have the winner bracket final of Fly versus Sock. And Lawlight finds himself against Michael, a rematch of the Walker 3 Battle Royal. A tournament from Korea that we casted like six to seven weeks ago. 
We thank Gold Esel for the recent sub. It's two years with you already. Thank you, mate. And now we go into a little break before we have either the lower semifinals or the winner's finals. We're not too sure about that, but great action is guaranteed. So stay tuned. <laughs> 